Hello and welcome to the Ignited Labs Online. Today we will be looking at an overview of the various technologies available for expanding education. Before we begin, please note that the individual technologies we reference in this video are showcased in more depth on our website. For more information, please see the link below. First, we should talk about extended reality, also known as XR. XR is an umbrella term that is used to describe the fusion of real and virtual environments. It encompasses two subcategories, AR and VR. AR, or augmented reality, is when elements of the real world are augmented, enhanced, or replaced with computer graphics. One prominent example is the Google Maps Live View, which uses your phone's camera as you walk to display directing indicators to follow to reach your destination. In the Ignited Labs, we have the Merge Cube as a great example of AR. It uses your smartphone to replace the live camera feed of the cube with digital objects, so you can analyze new things from the palm of your hand. AR is a powerful tool for education. It can easily make learning more accessible and individualized for students. Students might be able to work on a circuit board, sculpt and create art, or see history unfold in front of them through the tools provided by AR. The other component of XR is VR. Virtual reality, or VR, refers to a computer-generated simulation, which allows users to interact with an artificial three-dimensional environment. The most apparent example of VR is in the form of a headset such as the Oculus Quest. The Oculus Quest takes your actions and inputs and translates them into a digital space, such as a video game or other simulated environment. Within the Ignited Labs, we have an Oculus Quest, as well as other product headsets that are able to create virtual spaces you can explore. Virtual reality can be a unique tool for learning, as it can create more experimental spaces for students to engage with material. Students, for example, might be able to take virtual field trips to museums on the other side of the world, practice and perform with virtual instruments, or even take a virtual driver's test. These are just a small handful of possibilities virtual spaces and extended reality can open up for students. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is another powerful tool technology offers us. AI is a broad term for any technology that makes decisions based off of the data it gets. It may sound confusing, but let's break it down. Let's say you want to train a computer to be able to identify a particular object in any photo. For our example, one particular object will be a chair. In order to teach the computer how to identify any chair, we need to show it what a chair looks like. So we give the computer a picture of a regular wooden chair. The computer then breaks down that chair into its defining characteristics. It has a back, a seat, and four legs. The system is now able to identify chairs, but only those that look extremely similar to the one example we provided. So when it sees a desk chair, the computer cannot identify it. The desk chair has arms and wheels. It looks nothing like the first chair. So we tell the computer that the desk chair is also a chair. And now it is better able to identify chairs in any picture. Anytime you give the computer a new example of what a chair looks like, the computer's accuracy with identifying chairs in the pictures increases. So, for the best results, we have to feed the computer many, many, many examples. AI is present in a lot of places today. You might recognize it in the form of predictive text on your smartphone, or in advertisements you may receive online. These examples give you information based off of data you fed it in the past like how words you frequently use show up in predictive text, or how items you have recently shopped for now appear in online ads. We have a Google AIY kit in the Ignited Labs, which is a smart camera that makes use of a whole internet of data to do unique things with the camera, such as take a photo when it recognizes a smiling face. AI is amazing for education, as it can assist educators in writing curriculums, it can individualize teaching based off of student learning styles, and it can provide a lot of information quickly to both students and educators. These are just broad examples, but with AI being as versatile a tool as it is, it's very likely it can provide support to many, many different areas in the future. IoT, which stands for Internet of Things, is our final main tech category today. 
IoT is a network of devices that are able to send and receive data via the internet. IoT technology connects to Wi-Fi in order to communicate and send signals to other Wi-Fi connected tech. Many of these gadgets on the market are labeled as smart devices, such as smart fridges, smart thermostats, and most familiar of all, smartphones. A good example of IoT tech is any smart assistant like the Apple HomePod, Amazon Echo, or Google Home. Anytime you ask your Amazon Echo, hey Alexa, what's the weather like today? It uses its Wi-Fi connection to process, search, and return an answer. 3D printers are a good example, as designs you've made are shared with them through the internet and printed without you needing to manually program the machine to do the task you've set it to do. The Ignited Labs has 3D printers available, allowing you to print study tools, education aids, and other objects made easy thanks to the connectivity and ideas available on the internet. Interactive displays, like the kind that are available for group study in the computing commons, or in the libraries on campus, are also IoT, as you are able to control the display of images and information through the use of the internet. In our lab, we do the same with our Dell Interactive Monitor. We also have the Beam, a mobile interactive display that allows visitors to check out our lab without needing to physically be there. Additionally, the ASU campus shuttles are IoT, as they provide Wi-Fi to students on board and are able to show their location in real time to allow students to plan around the bus's movement. Internet of Things is important for education because so much of education is moving online today. Online conferences, online reading, and other tech categories are made possible thanks to the Internet of Things. All right, to wrap up, let's review. Extended Reality, or XR, is an umbrella term that is used to describe the fusion of real and virtual environments. The two main subcategories that fall under XR are augmented and virtual reality. Augmented reality, or AR, is when elements of the real world are augmented, enhanced, or replaced with computer graphics. Virtual reality, or VR, refers to a computer-generated simulation, which allows users to interact within an artificial, three-dimensional environment. Next is Artificial Intelligence, or AI. AI is a broad term for any technology that is able to perform tasks such as problem solving using information from mass amounts of data. This process is also known as machine learning. Finally is IoT, or Internet of Things. Internet of Things is a term used to describe any device that is able to send and receive data via the Internet. Examples of all of these technologies are present within the Ignited Labs, but there is so much development happening every day that creates more and more examples of these technologies. We should continue to learn and expand our knowledge of technology in these categories so that we can create more experiences for students and educators. Thank you for tuning into Tech Tours with the Ignited Labs. Feel free to visit us at the labs at any of our three locations on ASU's Tempe, Polytechnic, or West campuses and check out our website for more ideas and information.